Said you look really pretty. Good night. <laughs> you just laughed at yourself. <laughs> you know you did. I don't know what you're talking about. Are we recording? What's going on guys? Welcome to CJ's first cooking show. If this is your first time stumbling upon this, Buckle you stumbled up, you stumbled upon the lucky pot of gold at the end. The lucky pot of gold at the end of your rainbow. And you I'm the leprechaun. <laughs> I'm the leprechaun. <laughs> hey guys, before we get started, be sure to like and subscribe, hit the bell, get the notifications because you do not want to miss any of our shows, especially mine. Probably. Because today I'm going to be taking us back, dude. Like Back in time. Back in time. To like the late 80s, early 90s. What was the greatest thing about being a kid? It was Toys about. Toys R Us? Oh, yeah, that too. I don't want to grow up. Fun. Toys R Us. Micro Machines. Remember, but it doesn't say Micro Machines. Not the real thing. Oh, there's a little, 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 For you, not them. Oh, no, wait, that was six feet of bubble gum. Another great thing. Bubble tape. It's six feet of bubble gum for you, not them. But Pizza Hut, man. Pizza Hut. Aww. Going to a birthday party at Pizza Hut? Don't forget to share. Share, share. Birthday party at Pizza Hut sounds miserable. Dude, you sound miserable. But what's not miserable are Pizza Hut wings. And today, I'm going to show us how to make copycat Pizza Hut wings. Ethan knows what I'm talking about. The sauce is freaking delicious. Am uh -huh. I right? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. So let's show you how to do it. Let's ring it and bring it. There we go. There you go. Hey, you can um, grab oh, your yeah. cup. Oh, yeah. I forgot. forgot. We're friends. Come on, kitten. Well, oh, come on, kitten. I won't tell anyone. Well, it is a steamy, muggy day here in Florida, so there's Why nothing. Why do you always start with that? Because you I've got glow. Quit interrupting my flow. This is my show. Dang. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, right behind me, guys, we've got our 36-inch Blackstone air fryer combo, and that comes into play uh -huh. big time today. Wow, yeah. I rhymed again. Yeah. All of my action figures are cherry. Stephen Hawking's in my library. Yeah, quit this rhyming is getting weird. Anybody want a peanut? Anybody want a peanut? Yeah! Uh, so I've got my air fryer actually uh, preheating down here on me. Let me make sure. Yeah, it is on medium. I'm gonna get started with some wings. We're gonna do it two ways: one in the air fryer, one up top. Sound like a good plan? Yeah. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead. And you have uh, wings and drummies. Wings and, and flats, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> I meant to do that. Sure. Uh, yeah, wings and flats. Uh, I, th I think there are two different kinds of people in the world. Drums and flats. Drums and flats. I am a flats guy, for sure. Uh, in fact, when I go order, like at, go to B-dubs or, you know, one of those places, I definitely always order Flats only. Two, four. Flats only, two, really? Four, six, yeah. I don't think I know anyone that's a flats only kind of guy. Really? Yeah. Well, now you do. Apparently. Apparently. Because apparently you're spinning around, and apparently every time you get dizzy. I want to get this crispy, so I'm going to use some of our non stick air fryer. Oh, that's a pro move right there. Griddle spray. That's that way, a light, a light coating of oil. Light coating. That way, it's going to help us get nice and crispy. And Let's no seasoning, just a little. Just glisten. going to throw it in there. Just going to let it do, its, let it let it do its thing. Dude, you were rhyming and you were on point. And now you can't, even, can't speak. even speak English. Uh, also, why I, I I'm going to wait a minute. Dang, you need to ring it. Something's happening. <sighs> it's a malfunction. You got to like control alt delete. Conjunction junction. What's your function? Hooking up words and phrases. We're gonna move on to our french fries, but while but I'm bitter. thinking about it, I'm gonna go ahead and drop this in here because this is going to be for our sauce. I've got this side over here on low. That's gonna slow melt. I know I don't need that cranking hot. I just need it to melt down. So what? moving on, <laughs> <laughs> we've got our other air fryer basket here. And uh, let's get some waffle fries. With some waffle fries. Yeah, buddy. There is something magical about a waffle fry. Uh, I'm gonna do an episode on mine where I actually show how to make it using a mandolin. Have you ever done it by hand? Would you would, dude? You're cruising. I'm having well, a hard time keeping up. Uh, we we got stuff to do, man. <laughs> now I am going down straight on our griddle top into some olive oil. Again, we didn't season. Uh, we're gonna just really our seasoning is gonna be our awesome sauce here at the very end. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. It is quite awesome sauce. And speaking of awesome sauce. That's what we're gonna work on right now. So, we're almost there, boys. 
Oh, quick. My butter. My butter. That's a technique. If you guys aren't doing it at home, throw a pot or a pan if you need it. Your griddle top acts as a great heat source. You know what? We should do all this over here. Oh. Let's just go over here. Follow okay. me over this way, boys. Right. I'm following. So we've got some Frank's red hot sauce here. Now, <laughs> Frank. Uh, <laughs> this shirt belongs to Frank. Actually, you're wearing a flat top bra. <laughs> <laughs> so now this, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna just go ahead and say like a quarter of a cup, maybe probably like more. Equal parts, a little more buffalo, um, a little more A little more buffalo than butter. Stay there. Next, we've got some rice vinegar. Now this is the thing that sets that Pizza Hut wing sauce like aside, but I guess the vinegar punch is yeah, kind of what well, does it. What did Norman say about the bright flavor? It makes you stand up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've also got some garlic powder. Now, this is in one of those occasions we don't want to use fresh. Uh, fresh garlic. Yeah, the texture's wrong. I need, I need this to become a sauce and to be just not clumpy, really. Clumpy? Snooty? The clump. Snooty? Snotty? Snooty. Snooty? Snotty. Snotty. Now, we've got some smoked paprika. Abe Another Roman. Abe Roman, the Thank Sausage you. King of Chicago. Uh, we've got some smoked paprika. If you've never used smoked mm. paprika. Mm, smoky buffalo sauce? God, it's so good, yeah. Look at you. Gonna add some uh, coarse black pepper. I don't need any salt in there because it's salty enough. Nice, I <laughs> knew where you were going, it didn't quite work. E, what are you thinking, man? Looking good, right? Yeah. You know, I yeah. think we might actually end up needing more. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna add some more buffalo sauce you need more and butter, don't you? some more rice vinegar because that's that bright flavor. bright flavor that I'm wanting and a little bit more garlic and now we're done. I think it's time for us to ring it and bring it while we wait for our uh, wings to finish up on top and on bottom. Tommy likes wingy. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Tommy want wingy. <laughs> Let's ring it on that note. Uh, cheers. Uh, you want to... No? Just, I know. There, there okay. There we go. As I rang it and bring it, I realized I forgot two things. Number one, <laughs> we've got some water. Oh, there we go. Now here's another key well, element. Are you gonna thin it out? Yes. Oh. And we're gonna, it's gonna reduce, but don't worry. I forgot <laughs> brown sugar. This How is silly the way of Pizza me. Pizza Hut does it. I seriously doubt Pizza Hut takes this much time and effort to make their sauce Well, I seriously doubt that they have somebody yapping in their ear the whole time and they can't get it done. Seriously, Ethan, shut I'm it. Sorry. So you want a tightly packed quarter cup of okay. brown sugar. Okay, I'm gonna ring it and ring it again. Okay, okay. Uno mas. Now we're actually gonna just hang out. Jeez. Ethan. Wow. Here you go. Okay. One for my homie. <laughs> <laughs> and one for my home. Time to flip our wings, boys. So we are looking for a nice, toasty crust. Oh yeah. That we are, oh yeah, that's what we're starting that's to do. That's the magic of a chicken wing, crispy skin. Well, that's cruising. I'm gonna slide this off to the side, and we're gonna dome this as well. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, so. Oh, ambient heat. Yep. So I'm gonna get this, slide it over here. Are you gonna leave the heat up like that? What we're getting now is we're getting the sear, but we're also getting the heat inside the dome. Mm -hmm. Let me check on my wings here. Oh yeah, look at this. So the difference between that and this is we're not gonna get that uh, like definitive sear, but everything around this is gonna start it's uh, like roasting. crisping. Yes, it's gonna start crisping up. You, uh, just a second ago, uh, the skin, you could see it was kind of expanded. Yeah. Uh, so this is gonna keep cruising. You know what, let me check on my fries. Oh, oh bonjour, no boys. Bonjour, no boys. Two more minutes, and then I'm gonna put them in the um, warming station, and it'll just stay nice and warm. There you go. All right. While so that's, we just need to hang out, or yeah, while that's going on, I think that we can go ahead and get to some of our garnish. <gasps> We've had a few minutes to hang out, probably like what, five-ish? A skosh. A skosh of time. And our wings are most certainly going to be done. Let's have a look, boys. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Look at that. We've wings got on the griddle top are fantastic. Yeah, they are. Uh, I can't wait to get down to the air fryer as well, because both are equally delicious. Okay, so those are done. Here's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna take some of our sauce. Whoa, been... whoa, on the griddle? Yeah, bro. Dude. I'm gonna glaze them. That way it uh, kind of like just immediately reduces and sticks to all the wings. I am a fan of this technique. Oh. 
Holy cow, that smell, that aroma. Yeah, all right, I'm gonna kill that. <laughs> yeah, watch out. <laughs> the aroma will choke you. I was popping and start glazing at this point. Yeah, so it now it's not to just reduce. a sauce. Yeah. It's, a, it's now a glaze on the wings. And we get a nice coat. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What about their leg? <laughs> they don't need them. Oh, Lord of the Rings? <laughs> No, let me do one more drizz. Sorry, boys, coming through. HDS coming through. Got a package, people! HDS coming through! Got a package, people! Just wanted a little bit more. Oh, yeah. I don't want that on the direct heat. So now, instead of the so sear... Roasty. Yes. We've got these awesome roasty wings that have this nice texture to them. It's definitely different More than, traditional looking. Yeah. Well, especially at this moment, they're definitely more traditional looking. All right, let's do this, boys. Come over here. Oh, hello. Ain't nothing wrong with chicken fat. No. <laughs> chicken fat lady. Uh, that's from Aaron Brockovich. <laughs> if it doesn't work out, you can always send him back to the chicken fat lady. All right, I'm going to go ahead and kill him. Kill him and <laughs> that air right there. The air up there. Ooh, the air up there. Remember that basketball movie? <laughs> Now let's go ahead and get so our same sauce, different saucing technique, different saucing technique, and um, and really preparation. I don't want to do too much because I want to make sure I have enough if I have to keep spreading it out. But all right, dude. Yeah, that this. actually looks more traditional, like what you might get from yeah, like a, a traditional wing yeah. place uh, or Pizza Hut. They have but, now wing. But those little beauties over there. Oh yeah, Dang, come dude. On. I think we're ready to. I think we're ready to get this party. Cruising. Let's, I want to compare. We'll compare. I just can't compare. As, I don't know. Nice uh, try. Yeah. Was, nice try. That was a reach. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you don't even have a fourth grade reading level. Oh. It's a paramecium brain. It's a one cell critter with no brain that can't fly. Don't mess with me, man. I'm a lawyer. Don't mess with me, man. I'm a lawyer. Panning. Got it. Panning. Panning. Uh, Rufio. Why don't you go suck on a dead dog's nose? Yeah. All right, so check it out. I mean, the obvious difference is pretty remarkable. We've got this beautiful sear. Jeez, These have been roasted. That? Yeah, you all right there, Ink? You okay? You all right? I'm fine. Are you all right? Fine. And you? Let's kind of stack our wings up here. We do need to leave a bit of room. If you get some wing cross-pollinization, that's quite all right. Pollinization? Because our, our Is that wing... like colonization? Sure. Let's check and see Fry how time. we did with our french fries. Oh man, why are waffle fries so special? We've got just a, a little bit of garnish that we're gonna throw on top dig, of our wings. To dig it. Uh, just to give it that light punch of color. And um, don't you worry, french fries. You, you're, not, you're not left alone. What? <gasps> we're gonna do a post, a post dust, dust of I some must. whiskey burger. And boys. What about the carrots and celery? Yeah, there's not really any room. Because you don't like them. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Let's go eat them. Wings and fries. Does it get any better than this, gentlemen? Nope. I do not think so. I'm ready to dive as in. As long as they're not from Pizza Hut, but made to emulate Pizza Hut, and they're Dude, better than Pizza, Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut is so good. Pizza you... the Hut. Pizza the Hut. Uh, first off, air fried ones. Got to be the flats. Mm -hmm. I, I really don't know anyone that is a flats only guy. Wow. That was a, an abomination of chicken wing eating. Looks kind of <laughs> a couple of pelicans fighting over a Dorito. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, the traditional nature of that is so good. Which one was that? Was that the air fryer? The air fryer. The, yeah? So great. Ethan, go grab some more sauce. So the first one was the air fryer. Yeah. Tell me about the crispy skin. Yeah. Um, I, I, will, I will tell you about the crispy skin. You're in a, mo you're in a zone. I'm in a zone. I'm sorry, dude. I can't even... <laughs> Mm. The sauce is still really steamy hot. <laughs> I mean, I can say right away, the difference between the air fryer one and up top, um, we were able to glaze the one up top. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of more of that sauce that literally is sticking to the, it. The sugar caramelized a bit too. Maybe oh, it most certainly did. That is a definitive difference. I mean, both of them have the same sauce on it, so the flavor's the same, but the texture and consistency is a little different. I think that you guys should try these. And I'm also... I'm gonna go here too. Wow, it's really sweet. Is that the way Pizza Hut does it? Uh-huh. Real sweet It's like got that? a sweet tang to it. Mmm. No segue. I have none. But comments of the week? Segue enough. 
and let it happen. From impressive to obsessive, a little spice and the not so nice, it's time for CJ's favorite comments of the week. Uh, hey guys, so welcome to Comments of the Week. This is a really fun segment in the show. If you've never seen it, welcome. This is the bar, and this is where we have some fun. It's a safe place. My name is CJ, and I like to party. And I know for a fact you don't party. Starting from the top in no particular order. This comes from Jeff Shreams. Hey, Jeff. Hey, what's going on, Jeff? Jeff says, which one of you mother scratchers gets stuck looking up all these obscure clips? Well, I guess it's just basically Wayne's World and Ace Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> a, that's, that's not true. B, you're kind of not wrong. And I will ring it and bring it for that one. All right, cheers to Ace and Wayne. Hi, Wayne. Hi. Hi. Uh, all right, this next one comes from the Pepper Dog 313. Pepper Dog. Your show is the best accessory to go with my Blackstone. Great food, great recipes, and plenty of hearty chuckles. <laughs> Thank you. Who is this Nate fellow terrifying. behind the camera? You're certainly teaching him a thing or two about cooking. Don't even. Uh, the pepper dog, yes, you are correct. Oh. Ring it and bring it, mon frere. Uh, thank you, pepper dog. Nope, nope, don't you touch it. <laughs> well, this is another nice one. This comes from Tyler Klein. Love the show, just discovered it the other day after ordering my Blackstone and turning it into a drinking game. Every time the bell rings, take a sip. Keep Dang. it up, CJ. Well, hey, how about one now? It's official. Yeah, a two? Oh, there was two technically. Maybe one more? One for them, one for us. Ah. Uh, uh, it out. Uh, see? There we go, here we are. All right. Ah, uh, this next comment comes from the one and the only Mrs. Blackstone. Betty. Uh, Betty, Betty, Betty. Betty says, how fun. I'll take CJ's share of ceviche. Now, if you don't know that reference, it's because we were filming for Nate and he was with Norman Van Aken talking about going oh, on a boat. glorious fish. <laughs> ceviche, like we'll <laughs> catch a fresh fish fillet on the boat, make ceviche, drink white wine in the beautiful Florida sun. It sounds glorious. I'll take waffle fries and hot wings any day of yeah. the week. Uh, but this is the best part. Right above it, hmm. Rose Seaborg says, Betty's right. It is a purple onion, Nate. Wrong. <laughs> Ring that bell. <laughs> Love you, Betty. This next one comes from Brandy Rain. So it's basically an inferior version of the one CJ did. Uh oh. Wait, the, what? This one came off of your show. You took a steak and potatoes. No, wait, read it again. They were talking about me. Basically, it's an inferior version Wrong. of the one CJ Wrong. did. You, my dear, my dear Brandy, are <laughs> no. genius, nope. genius, nope. genius! Nope. Nope. Genius, genius, genius! Ring it and bring it! No, that doesn't uh -huh. deserve a ring. This next one comes from the Florida Gator fan. It says, CJ, I try to defend you because watching Nate run culinary circles around you Ew. is like watching the USA Ooh. basketball dream team beat up Croatia. Eey. And you just feel sorry Ow. for the underdog. But this was Ooh. bad. Like, really bad. Oh, man. What the crunch of the it? taco shells sounded like teeth breaking. Be better. Wait. Dang. Here, two Hold things. On. So I'm. I feel like I'm the only one that can beat up my brother. <laughs> yeah. You haven't earned the right to freaking trash talk me yet. I think he's trying to be funny. I think he is funny. That kind of stung though. Uh, but I don't. But he also flautas are supposed to be crispy. He wasn't quite wrong. Crispy. Culinary circles. Crispy. Team USA. Crispy. We win. Crispy. And thank you, Nate, for coming to my aid right underneath <laughs> Nate? there. She says, what? Nice. Exactly. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, that wraps this up. I, you, no. Do we? Oh, no. I no, don't we, know. Hey, was... we'll ring it for Nate for coming to my aid. <laughs> and for the comment being so truthful. That wraps this episode up, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for hanging out with us. It has been a delicious and delightful one. We got wings two ways. We've got waffle fries that have been seasoned with remarkable glory. It slices and dices and sends French fries in three. It slices and yet makes French fries in three different. Whoops. All right, kids. Ooh. Go check out BlackstoneProducts.com for this recipe and a whole slew of other ones. Go watch Betty Show, Todd Show, Nate Show, but this is CJ's first cooking show where we, my friends, do a lot of cooking. And a lot of quote, you... I changed it up, I wanted to see if I could... Can we rewind? This is CJ's first cooking show where we cook... And we quote! Yes, we do. Thanks Feels for good. joining us, folks. Feels you good. guys have yourself a fantastic day. And if I don't, I don't see, see you, you good, good afternoon, afternoon, good evening, and good night! <laughs> Dude, I give you some. Uh, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. So come on, everyone, it's CJ's first!